I want to create a cabriolet leg in Fusion 360. Okay, so I got this question from someone that's in my Fusion 360 Jumpstart course, and they want to create this. So I think it's worth noting that when I'm, you know, looking at different images, this can vary, right? The the shapes can vary, uh, the designs can vary. The design sounds like it's typically two curves, a convex and concave that create this foot shape. Great, so we'll work from that. Um, just keep in mind that maybe your output uh, design might be a little different than this one and that's <laughs> that's great so let's get started by bringing in um, the concept we want to build how do i start from a picture to create my first sketch yes absolutely so what we want to do is take a picture first i find my image from you know google or wherever uh, reference content i want i save this image to my local machine next i'm going to start a sketch on the front plane where i want to sketch this and I'm going to use the tool called Canvas. And I will select Canvas and then insert this image from my machine, select the face that it goes on, and then I am able to locate and move this around. Now, don't worry too much about the overall scale. We're gonna get to that in just a minute, but I wanna get the leg in how I want, and I can flip it both about its X and its Y, so I can get it oriented correctly, and and then we'll, we'll make sure this is scaled, you know, roughly the right way. So get it roughly where it goes, click OK, and it'll place it. You now have this reference sketch. It's not a sketch yet. It actually is just a canvas. Now, here's a fun gotcha in Fusion 360. If you right click on the canvas below, I don't see calibrate. But if I click on it up in the browser, select it, right click calibrate. Very interesting. It's not doesn't seem to be uniform, but choose calibrate. And what you're going to do is click from maybe one entity to another that you know. So if I know the overall height, if I know this bottom leg, I know this top segment, whatever I want to do to scale it, that's what I I want to do now and get this scaled correctly. If I know it's roughly 760 millimeter or 30 inches, whatever you might know, put that value in and then it's going to scale that. And then now that this is scaled correctly, I now need to move it into the right location. So I'm going to right click and choose edit feature on the canvas, move it, get it aligned to the origin or where you'd like it to sit, hit OK. And now you've got a properly scaled canvas as a reference. And now our next step is to sketch this. So I'm going to create a brand new sketch on this front plane, the same as the canvas and simply come in and sketch this shape. Now, how? what's the best way to copy this? If you can do lines and arcs, it's going to define, it's going to sketch, it's going to dimension much better than a spline is. Splines are more complicated curves. Be sure to add enough points for control and you can zoom in as tight as you want for copying this shape. Now, one got you with splines is when you finish up, you want to be sure to hit the the arrow that accepts so many times that I've been working with splines that I kind of hit enter or escape and ended up closing, like failing to capture my shape. Now, I am going to try to use solid lines or straight lines when I can. So instead of hitting escape, I'm going to hit this little green check. And now I've got my spline and I can come in with these handles and adjust this to fit the sketch. So as I drag this, you can see I can control this area and get this tighter. So maybe it'd be smart to add maybe an additional point. Remember, you can drag these points down and kind of control where it's uh, pull it pushing and pulling your spline. OK, let's just say that it's close enough. And now I'm going to use the straight line tool to finish out this shape here. Of course, I could just draw a rectangle. Now, how do I copy this sketch so I don't have to redo the work? So to copy sketch, all you have to do is select everything. You can do that with a window or you can double click and that will grab the entire closed continuous profile. It's another way to do it with copying sketches. It is a little bit tricky. I found I caught I selected I hit control C or command C in the Mac and then select the new plane that's going on to start a sketch, hit control V, it's going to place it. Now I need to get this oriented correctly. 
so I can rotate it. I can move it around. If this is the inverse of what I want, if I'd like a mirrored version of this, there isn't a handy mirror like there was with the canvas. So instead, I'm going to come in and use the mirror command. I'm going to add a line, go to create, find mirror, select the object, objects, select the line. It's going to create it. I can make all of this construction geometry if I want to keep the reference. I just need to simplify things. I can delete it. Next, I'm going to use the move. I'm going to hit S key for my search tool and find move copy. I'll select the objects, drag them over, get it lined up, hit OK. Now I have two sketches. I'm going to finish the sketch. Now, how do I extrude these? So if you're like me, maybe you try extruding both and it kind of creates a pretty complicated shape, right? I'm not really sure what to do here. I don't want to cut that out. Is there a way that Fusion can kind of just solve where they meet each other? Absolutely. You can do this after the fact or even easier is the ability to solve this second extrude. So I'm going to do this second extrude. Come over to the operation itself and do intersect. So what's nice about this is it solves it for me dynamically where I don't have to come in later and do an additional command. It's just solving where both extrudes meet each other. You can see that it's not perfect, but it's getting me close. Cool. So if you're looking to maybe loft this and control this with rounded profiles, let's maybe do that in a loft. Um, I think I'm going to break that into the into another video. So hey, if you're looking to ramp up your 3D printing skills, check out my Fusion 360 Jumpstart warning, this can lead you to building a lot more cool custom prints. Link in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video.